Hello and welcome to a tutorial on using user-defined templates within SV Editor. I'm Matthew Balance, Principal Developer on the SV Editor project. User-defined templates are a new feature that's present in SV Editor 0 0.8.8. .8. Um, the goal here is to make the creation of rep repetitive content much simpler. Um, using user-defined templates, you can place your templates uh, within a project in the workspace that you're perhaps working on, or in some directory on a file system, which might be appropriate uh, once you've built up a nice library of templates that are reusable. There are two primary elements uh, to a user-defined template. The first element is the template descriptor, which gives the template a name, and a description, and a category, all of which makes it easy, easy to find the uh, template when you are creating a new instance of that template within SV Editor. Also associated with the template descriptor are a list of template parameters, which allows the user to uh, parameterize the, the contents that, that is generated. And finally, as part of the template descriptor, there is a list of uh, files that are part of the template. The second primary element of a template are the source files that will be uh, used by the template processor and will create the uh, the output files. These are um, either system Verilog or any other uh, source file and these files have uh, references to the parameters uh, within them. So when the template processor processes these uh, files it replaces the uh, the parameter references with the specific values chosen by the user. Okay, to see an example of how we would use a user-defined template, I have a very small project here that's a UVM uh, project. And I have a file here that represents a, a test, a UVM test within my environment. So I might have some special requirements for, what, uh, for the content of this file based on my test bench. Um, so my test has a name, the class has a name here, and that name is used throughout to uh, register this test with using uh, the UVM component utils, and it's used in various other places. In this particular case, the unique element of this uh, test is that I am selecting a sequence to start, and it has a name, and I'm starting that on a sequencer within my uh, environment. So if I'm creating a large number of these tests, it would be nice to uh, reduce the amount of cut and paste and rename that I have to do. And so I might create a, uh, a template from this file. So I have my uh, test template file here, where I uh, have replaced the name of the file with this reference to the file name uh, built-in parameter. I've replaced the class name with a reference to the, the name parameter that's also a built-in. And then finally here, I have another parameter reference, sequence name, that I will uh, define as a user-defined uh, parameter. So this is my template source file. Now, the next thing we'll want to do, of course, is create a uh, template descriptor. So we do that by going to New, Other, because a template descriptor is sort of an advanced uh, feature. And in the SV Editor category, we select the System Verilog Template Descriptor. And we need to give it a name. And right now I am editing my templates within this uh, project named uh, My Project Templates. And so I'll create a, a, a descriptor of the same name. And notice that the file ends with the name uh, SVT. So when I click Finish here, I'll see a, a new file here. And it has a, an entry. This is a form-based editor has an entry for both templates and categories. Uh, nothing has been populated just yet. So at this point, I'll go through and I will uh, enter all the information um, about my uh, collection of templates uh, using this editor. OK, fast forward just a bit, and I'm back with my completed template descriptor. So I've created a, a category called My Project Templates. Uh, a category has an identifier, as well as a name, and a description. So uh, the name will be used within the, uh, the GUI aspects of SV Editor. Now I've also created a, a template 
named uh, UVM test templates and I've given that an ID as well and I have specified the category here um, as, to be the the my project templates category and I've added a handy little uh, description here template for a UVM test used within my project now if you remember there was one user defined parameter that we wanted to use and that was the name of the sequence so I've added a a parameter here um, given it the name sequence name specified the type as a class and uh, given a default value um, that the user can change then finally I have uh, created a new entry for the uh, the test templates file here I have specified the name using the the uh, name uh, parameter so when we create an instance of this template uh, the file name will be um, whatever the name is that we give or the value that we give the name parameter and I've specified a path to the uh, uh, the template file um, browse to that and it's uh, this path right here okay now that we have defined our template descriptor and the template files we can uh, now add a, a path to specify uh, to SV Editor where to find these templates or where to search for these templates. So uh, this is very simple. I can just add a workspace path here, browse and uh, select my project templates. SV Editor will search for any .svt, or the template descriptor files, within this directory. So I only need to specify a top level path and all the other template descriptors will be located uh, beneath that path. Okay, now let's create a new instance of our template. We select the System Verilog template um, item here. And we can see the category My Project Templates is listed here. We'll select the UVM test template and we'll see the description here um, describing, as we did in the descriptor, what this template does. So we'll click Next here and we need to give our um, template instance a name. So let's call it My Test 2 we can see here the the files that will be created are, are listed down here and if we were perhaps to give a name that conflicts with files already in this directory it will um, SV Editor will show us the conflict and help us correct that now we have our user defined parameters here the sequence name um, so let's uh, change that change that to my sequence 2 for example um, so we're all ready. We've uh, specified our output path, our parameter values. Everything looks good. We'll click Finish here, and that will uh, create our new uh, template instance, my test two. And we can see that um, our parameters have been uh, changed and, and dereferenced, and so um, our uh, new test has been uh, very quickly created. Okay, so as I hope you can see from the demo, uh, creating a new user-defined template is uh, very simple. It's very fast, a uh, very easy way to take some existing file that you have and parameterize it to make it very easy to reuse and uh, with, with different values. Um, using these user-defined templates also really speeds uh, development of System Verilog code because you're able to create a lot of it very quickly um, that follows patterns that you already know you need. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, please visit our website, uh, svediditor.sourceforge.net, for more information on SV Editor.